probably experienced this. You go to someone's house and they show you their home videos. Well, hours later, you're fast asleep. There are ways to make these things more exciting. I've got Colin Smith from Adobe. Thanks for coming on board here. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Uh, Adobe, you guys make pretty well all the, uh, the photo and video software in the world now. Right. I don't think there's that much choice left anymore, but it's all good. So what's new with the Premiere Elements 4? Well, the big thing is capture and share your movie in 15 minutes. In 15 minutes. <laughs> and yep. do, you, do you have to know editing? No, you don't. We, we really make it easy for you. Drag and drop everything from adding effects to editing to output to sharing. It's all drag and drop, a very simple user interface. So what makes it different than some of the other editing software that's out there now? Well, one thing that we've added is we have this scene line view instead of a, a traditional timeline view. And if you look at a regular timeline, uh, if you're a professional, as we are, it's pretty <laughs> easy to edit in a timeline. I use that term loosely. <laughs> right. But you see a lot of, of new users, they look at a timeline, they don't know what the heck it is. Instead, a scene line is just one video at a time with simple areas for transition. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, drag and drop. So you bring your video in, drag it, drop it, and when you click on one of the videos, you can actually see it up on the top, and it zooms in for you. Um, so you can edit the beginning and the end very easily. Very cool. So uh, obviously you can then add in like transitions and effects yeah. and, and what have you. And timing and edit the, the beginning and the end so you can take out when you're shooting your feet, you simply trim that off very easily. Okay, what about shaky cameras? Like I, I take a lot of video and I'm not the most steady guy, and so uh, you know people are getting sick when they're they're watching my stuff. Okay, well I happen to have a clip just for that, so I'll bring in a shaky camera footage, and this was shot with somebody walking backwards. So they're shooting the video and they're walking backwards, and I'll play this for you just so you can see how bad it is. It's very typical, you know. People are used to taking bad video like this. So there it is, they're shooting, walking backwards, and the whole time it's jiggling. So how do you get rid of this? We've got a built-in effects, and we just go to our effects, and inside there we have something called the video stabilizer. How easy is it? You simply drag the video stabilizer effect over top of the offending video, and we play, and it is done. And now you can see it's much more stable. Smooth, so it's not shaking all over exactly. the place. Exactly. And the way that this is, is uh, affected is by taking the video and actually scaling it up and then moving it around. And in moving it around, sometimes you expose some of the edges. That's why it has to make it a bit bigger and then compensate. Every time you move the camera left, it moves the picture right. Move it right, it moves it left, and it ends up smoothing that. Well, I did see, though, um, there is like that black edge because yes. obviously it's moving over. How can you get rid of that? You sure can. If you go to edit the effects, every single thing you do is what's known as non-destructive, meaning we're never hurting our video. We can go back and tweak it later. So the zoom value, if we just go through the clip, we'll find that point where it's just a little bit too much, right about there. And I'll simply zoom that up a little bit larger so you don't ah, see that black edge. So it's gone. Yep. Very cool. What other effects? I'm, I'm all about effects. Okay. Well, we ship with a ton of these effects in here. Uh, there's ones for adjusting. I'll show you all of them in here. Adjusting the color, making things lighter, brighter, uh, blurring, distorting, twirling, you name it. But one of the things that I like to do is something called shadow highlight. And this came from Photoshop. Uh, lots of people have dark photos and even more people have dark video. Yeah, right? that's, that's me. That's you. So I don't even have to know where it is. I'll simply type in here shadow and it finds shadow highlight. Again, drag and drop and watch. It instantly lightens that oh, video. But it, it doesn't, like before I would just take like the brightness or contrast mm -hmm. and, and work it that way. But it doesn't blow out the whole no. piece. Your brights stay bright and not too bright, but your shadows now get lighter. Very cool. And so when you drag that onto that video clip, it does it do the whole clip? It does that one clip, yes. And, and if you wanted to, you could drag it onto however many clips that yes. you want. Yes, and each one might be a little bit different. This one needs a little bit more, and that one needs even less. Well, I just find it uh, fascinating now. I mean, what's the difference between this? Uh, you guys make the Adobe Premiere, like the, the right. professional version. So what's uh, the difference between them? Not much, actually. You know, uh, probably about 80% of what Premiere Pro, our professional product, is in this consumer product, Premiere Elements. It really is fantastic. Of course, we are missing some of the things like full, uncompressed HD editing, so you're not about to do a feature film with Elements, but you could do it with uh, Premiere. 
So if someone started out on Elements, what kind of learning curve would it be for them to then go up to like the next level, the, the Premier? Oh, it's a lot of the, the things that they learn here can be translated directly to, to uh, Premier Elements. We have a lot of our customers that do that. Some that want to get really sophisticated um, and, and move into some things with Premier and After Effects, they can do that very easily. Although you can have 99 layers of video and 99 layers of audio in here, I don't know when you'd run to the end of this program. I wouldn't even use one. Um, <laughs> so we finished the video now and obviously it's a lot better because it's shorter right. and we've uh, put some nice effects into it. Um, can you add different types of themes and stuff? You sure can. And a theme changes the whole video completely. In fact, if I um, open up a file here, uh, we're going to open up a music video and this particular music video is uh, my daughter and her friend, <laughs> and, and they're playing in the basement. Is this how you get all your demo video clips? Exactly, yeah. yes. This is how I get everything. So I'll just uh, open this up, and it's just one camera shot of them playing some music. And we have a bunch of themes, and what the themes do is they add different random effects over time. So there's one that, that's supposed to look like news footage. There's one that, that looks like it's a, it's a live video performance or a music video with, with effects. And you can simply drag and drop them. Okay, so now I have this video clip opened up. And you can see, if we zoom out, I've taken one video clip and I've cut it up into a bunch of little pieces. And the theme will play some different random effect on each one of those pieces. So over on the right-hand side, I click on Themes and there's a bunch of different categories. I'll go to the entertainment theme, and if you simply drag and drop it right into the scene line, it will change everything. Okay, so you remember it started with their performance. Now it starts with this opening. There's a crowd that wasn't there. Everybody's cheering for them. That's hilarious. <laughs> Does your daughter know that you show up when you're home movies? No. No. <laughs> one thing, you get the crowd there, this posterized look. And so how does it know what to put in? Is this kind of a random? It thing? is completely random. Uh, you, can up, you can go in and edit any of these two, so if you don't like that particular effect, you click on, click on edit effects and change it if you want. Uh, there's so many in here, we'll just jump to uh, a few of these and, and have a look at the different themes. That's one with four of them uh, up, and here's another one where they look oh, uh, cool. super contrasty and uh, with different effects on top of it. So, uh, you know, just like you said in the opening, we don't want to bore people with our home movies, so chop them into pieces, drop in a theme, and you're ready to go. And just quickly, how, do, how can you share these things now? Well, we can share them so many different ways. We can send them out back to tape. We can make DVDs, including Blu-ray DVDs. Uh, we can import HDV content, but where, do ever, where does everybody want to go these days? YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> so built right into Premiere Elements 4, you click, it downloads the settings from YouTube that you need, you click one button and you upload directly to your YouTube account. And of course, you can make DVDs or whatever you want with whatever this. Whatever you want. Cool. Thanks for joining us, Colin. Thank you. Colin Smith from Adobe talking all about uh, Premiere Elements version 4.